Hi, I'm Lisa. Welcome to Lily's Design. Today, I will show you how to create a rhinestone one letter monogram for your face mask. You could also use this on a shirt or apply to any fabric that will withstand an iron set on cotton satin. I'm including all 26 letters for free. On this mask, I used Crystal AB rhinestones, and as you can see, it reflects many different colors. If you'd like to make the same face mask as this one, you will find the link down below in the description. This mask has a filter pocket in the back, and you'll notice there's an opening on each side, so you could easily place your filter in. Up on top here is a nose bridge. The supplies you will need is hot fix rhinestones and transfer film. I picked these both up on Amazon and I'll list it down below in the description so you could easily find it. For the rhinestone kit, I paid $10.69 and I got over 7,200 rhinestones. The transfer film was about $9.50 and you get 10 feet by 12 and a half inches. Let's get started blinging your face mask. Print my free pattern down below in the description. You want to choose letter size for printing and to double check you can take a ruler and make sure it measures one inch. It don't matter which side you use as long as it comes out one inch you have printed it correctly. Now you will notice I used a color chart. I do not have a color printer. I have a laser monochrome printer. I'm still able to see the difference in grays and black. And if you're unsure, just check your computer or device. If you have a color printer, this is how it will print out. For this demo, I will be choosing the letter A. Cut a piece of transfer paper bigger than your design. Peel back the paper and place the sticky side up over your design. Now tape it down. And I like to tape only the top two corners. This way I can check on my design every now and then. But if you like, you could tape all four corners. I will take the bubbly side, place it down under the A. This will give you a spot to rest your hand when you're laying the stones. Otherwise, you will be pulling the sticky tape off your fingers and messing up your design. I'll use this paper to place my stones on top. And I like to start with the smaller stones, but you can choose whatever you like to start with. It really doesn't matter. Grab your white pencil if it came with your rhinestones. If not, use tweezers. Pick up the rhinestone with the adhesive facing up. Shiny side should be facing down. And place it on your design. If you make a mistake, tweezers come in handy so you can easily grab the stone and put it back. I'll check on the stone placement by lifting this up. Everything looks good. If the stones are a little out of place, you can push on them with the back of the tweezers and this will help line them up. This is great for fixing the little stones. The biggest stones are not as much of a problem.
Let's see how it looks on the other side. Be careful. Everything looks straight. And if it don't, go ahead and do your adjustments. I'll place the plastic on the back, being sure the bubble side is down. You want to make sure you cut the scotch tape off the plastic, otherwise it will leave a sticky residue on your mask when you go to iron it. All right, so we got the A done. Let me give you a little bit of a closer look. With this white background, you can't see the multiple colors that I see. So let's get it on the mask. All right, once you figure out where you want to place your design, grab some parchment paper, and I'll list this down below in the link. Place it on top. And I'm not going to put the elastic on just yet. You can. Make sure your steam is turned off. Cotton set in, place your iron down, and you want to push down on the iron as hard as you can. Hold it there for 30 to 40 seconds. Heavier fabric requires more time, and do not slide the iron back and forth. Let it cool down. Slowly peel back the plastic. This way, if any rhinestones are loose, you can easily put the plastic back down and iron again. After you remove the plastic, place parchment paper on your design, then place your iron down, hold it with pressure for 20 seconds. I'll flip the mask over and I'll press the back. This way I'm ensuring the hot fix adheres to the fabric so it will hold up in the wash. You can press back and forth but do it very slowly and gently. We are done. It's that simple and easy to do. I filmed this part outside so you could really see the sparkles. In my room, the lighting is not the best. Off camera, I did the letter K and I did that in a crystal clear rhinestone. I hope you enjoyed this video and free pattern. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Your support and views help me to continue to offer free patterns. Please share my videos in your social media. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.